Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, once again, we are doing our little story time with Love Cubs, aka Lucas. How's it going, bud? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. And uh, yeah, the last episode was a lot of fun. And uh, this episode, I believe, is going to be a little on the controversial side, but <laughs> I think it's going to be uh, very well reasoned. We'll, we'll get into that in just a second. Anyway, so uh, how, how's it been going? It's been going. It's been going. That's good. How are you? I am good. It's been a busy, hectic day of doing edits and stuff like that. So, <laughs> Very um, nice. so now I get to take a break and uh, play some video games while I chat with you. So it's a it's a nice change of pace. It's a nice break for the evening. It really is. It really is, and I definitely needed it. So uh, thanks, thanks for joining. Yes, no worries. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, today's episode, if you want to call it that, is going to be uh, chatting a bit about, like you said. Uh, the mob vote. Yes, mob and, vote, Minecraft Live. How you know, how awful it is. <laughs> how awful it is. Uh, have you seen the social stuffs about the mob vote? What do you the mean last... the social stuff? All the things on social media about the mob vote uh, oh, no. for the past few uh, days, really. No, I haven't. I've seen the new mob votes, and I haven't heard anybody's actual opinions about them okay so i mean i have a bit my opinion on the mob vote specifically but i also have a, yes. a, a, my opinion about the mob vote in general yep and i'm sure you do too oh absolutely i think everyone <laughs> has their own opinions on it <laughs> yeah <laughs> you can call it an opinion i mean it's, it's damn facts at this point <laughs> <laughs> um so the the consensus online is we're going to not a consensus i can't say that so far, several hundred thousand people have signed this petition to end the mob vote. Not really? for this. like an actual thing? It's like an actual thing on change.org. I'm going to put in the description down below. There is a, uh, a, a link down there that you guys can check out. Um, I'll put in the, I'll even put it in the, in, in the, what do you call it? Comment section. I don't even care. You guys will have it everywhere available to you so you guys can check it out. Yes, it, check down below. Def, definitely. Uh, it's trying, they're, they're trying to get Mojang to, quit doing the mob vote and not for the sake of not adding more mobs but for the sake of doing what they said they were going to do years ago which was you guys can vote on this mob this is the one that's going to be introduced in this update and the next update you get both of them and you get to vote on another mob cool yes i mean it's always been everything every mob is going to be added to the game that's what it's always been that was the initial intent but then they said well no that's not what we're going to do we're going to give you one mob and that's it and that's not cool because that's what they've been doing. So the mob vote, to get rid of the mob vote is to get rid of the fact that we're voting on a mob just to introduce all three of them. We're tired of it. We're tired of it, Mojang. Mojang. Right. Okay, I get it. I mean, I would not be disappointed if they released an update and just released one mob in the update. That's it. But to tease us, to yes. tease us with three mobs that are all equally cool, all equally deserve to be in the game. And are all easy to add to the game. I mean, somebody already added the three mobs to the game. Exactly. I just saw a mod with the three mobs in the game. And that's what blows me away is this is not something that's like a astronomical feat of engineering. They've, If somebody else can do this like in a weekend, and you know it only took them a little while because they saw what the yeah. mobs can do, and they're like, hey, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I well, got I mean, you already. Mojang's already created the code that says, okay, here's how you make a base mob. Okay. Here's what the mob can do. Okay, here's where the mob can spawn. That's it. That's, that's like, it. And it's just a new texture for this this entity that's in the game. Yeah, granted, these are three new entities. The last couple mob votes have been retextured versions of mobs we've already had in the game. Were they really? I mean, well, we had, there was the glow squid, which was already squids. Yeah. The moo bloom, which was Oh, cows. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. There, there, there were lazy mobs. There were a lazy yeah, mob lazy mobs. There was something else that was like... What was the last one that was just added? Okay, so the sniffer. Here, I'm gonna pull one. it up right here. Hold on a second. I'm gonna pull, okay, the, pull, pull the it up. Screen, I'm gonna pull the screen up right onto my screen. <laughs> All right. So the the first mob vote. We'll go over them real quick, right? The okay, very okay. first mob vote was in 2017. We actually had four choices for that okay. mob vote. We had mobs A, B, and C, C and D. The first one. This was, was the phantom vote. Wasn't this it? is the the god awful phantom vote that no one ever <laughs> freaking wanted. The first one was really cool. It was called the barnacle. It was at the bottom of the ocean. It was kind of like a squid, and it opened up its mouth four ways, and it would like try to trap your face. Okay, that sounds <laughs> kind of cool. You. It does. Uh, the second one was the the god awful phantom, which no one wants. 
The third one was called the Great Hunger. It was a lizard-like creature. Uh, what did itself do? Consumes mobs and items. It has a huge mouth. So it ate everything. Okay. okay. It had some kind of great appetite for enchanting powers. I don't know. And then the, the last one, which is something we've seen in uh, specifically in your world uh, for your, your server, is the wildfire is a giant blaze. It's like a blaze king. Oh, yeah, I remember that blaze. That would have been legit. Out of all those mobs, this one here would have been cool because it's it's a boss. Right. You know, we need more bosses in the game, and these little semi-bosses are kind of whatever. But this was kind of like <laughs> the one that you had where you, you would find that, that random temple or battlefield, and you'd fight this thing. Right. And it was freaking hard as heck to beat, and that's what we needed. really was. But it would have been cool to have all four of these. You know what I mean? And yep. then in 2018 and 2019, we had no mob vote. <clears throat> really? Were, there was no mob vote? There was no mob vote. 2018, or at least it's not showing up on this webpage uh, for, for Minecraft fandom. It says that in 2018, they released the China edition for Minecraft. And that was, a, that I guess, in, encompassed a lot of their time. So I don't okay. remember. In 2019, there wasn't a mob vote. In 2020, we had the, the Moo Bloom, uh, uh, ice illager and the glow squid so you're right oh, yeah. all, th- all three of those were things we already had yeah, all three of them were just retextured versions of the same mobs you already had in the game exactly so i mean it would have been cool to have all of them they all do really unique different things that all would have been easy to add too because the code was already there exactly <laughs> so i i don't understand and single developers in 24 hours added them all to the game already so it doesn't take an entire team to like they, there's no argument that they could say for why they couldn't add all three to the game except for just wanting to take people off really uh yeah i'm gonna go with uh b <laughs> <laughs> that was that was their reasoning was yeah. was to upset people just to make them mad and then uh two years ago in 2021 i think it was 2021 i don't know what it was it doesn't matter um we had the glare the ally ally and the Copper Golem, which I absolutely love to this very day. The Copper Golem is the only one that deserved to be in the game. I mean, the Alea is essentially a retextured Vex that just it follows is. people around. It is. It's exactly and what that was. Everyone was like, oh, but it's going to be able to pick up items and I filter I rarely run like, into it. I, I mean, even if that was the case, they're so rare that nobody wants to do that. And B, no. it just you're going to use entities to do that? for storage filtering? Dude, that's just lag. That's dumb. Exactly, so, that's just lag. I would rather just build a system to do that. Redstone is not yeah. that hard, and there's so many tutorials on how to build a sorter. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's just so... like I've seen some tubers on some survival series do the LA filtering, and it just gets messed up, it gets broken, it doesn't work, and you have to like reset them every single time with setting off note blocks and whatnot. I, I, what? I, oh, they, like, you have to, to, to... Well, yeah, because they only will... Deliver stuff to note blocks, or if they hear the note box triggering. Oh, I didn't know that. So you have to like set off a note block every time for it to deliver it. <laughs> you have to set off a note block. What kind of bass backwards anyway? <laughs> so I mean, if you're gonna build an entire redstone system that's turning these freaking LAs on and off, just build a freaking Be- system to build, sort your items. <laughs> build the actual redstone system to do what. To, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, the copper golem would have added so much more life to any other redstone contraption, like any scenery, anything like that. Oh, I know. And the glare would have been cool to have, like a glowing bush around a cave system and stuff like that. But right. do you ever go into? That's the other question I have for you. Is do you ever go into cave systems very much? Like, do you find yourself Only, like going I don't in very often? Adventure to caves? No, I don't adventure to caves. I go mining, and typically I end up just strip mining. So. And that's all I ever do too. Is I just go strip mining. So I never find myself doing the spelunking to go down to the ancient cities and stuff like that. Uh, one, it terrifies me. <laughs> two, <laughs> two I, I just, I like the overworld. I really love the I do overworld. like the ancient city, but it's like every other um, structure they add to the game or single structure they add to the game. It just, once you do it once, you've, you've done it. And that's exactly it. You, you're, you know, why would you keep going back? There's no more to really explore. I guess there's, is there chests and stuff down there you get some loot there are chests and stuff like you would go for other loot and whatnot okay but i i think a cool update either would be a new dimension to explore oh that would be lovely or if you're just going to add stuff to the overworld do like a 20 30 structures that spawn in the overworld 
right? They don't have to be big structures. They don't need to be like, they don't need to serve a purpose, but they can tell a story. Yes, for sure. Even and if you can uh, just stumble upon the structures that have, I don't know, the new armor trims or banner patterns or anything that shows, hey, I was I found this structure. It gives right. people a reason to explore. Right. I think I did a a, a fake video of the, uh, the, what do you call it, desert update. I don't know if you remember yes. that. And I, did, I do remember that. Yeah, and I did like six different structures or points of interest. Not really necessarily structures, but points of interest that would spawn into the desert. And they were unique enough to where, yeah, it would give you a reason to look around as opposed to just hunting for a home and, you know, looking for the, the five things that you can find right now, which is just the big, big dungeon type things. The the desert temple, the ocean monument, the freaking, oh, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. It, it gives you like smaller things, kind of like the well does, but with a purpose. <laughs> <'Cause> the, <laughs> right. Because the well is... Great! It's, it's, it's so just used. A freaking three it's by three so build we, in the middle of the desert. Yeah, it's cool to find. Like every once in a while, you see it. You're like, oh, what's that? And then you get up to it. And you're like, oh, is there something here? No. But when the <laughs> the first few times I found it, like when I when I switched from Xbox 360, because Xbox 360, I don't know if anybody else is aware that has never played on a small map, is just one uh, region map. Is just a 512 by 512 on the giant side. That's their largest map. So is that still I, the same case? Uh, no, no. I think it's changed now when they okay, updated but it. That's too. what it was. That's what it was when I was playing. Yeah. Right. When you played giant size, when you played the small size map, it was one twenty eight by one twenty eight. <laughs> can you imagine? I can see one twenty eight blocks away now. Exactly. <laughs> uh, now uh, was that one twenty eight blocks or one twenty eight chunks? One twenty eight blocks. One twenty eight square. Uh, a square oh. of one twenty eight by one twenty eight. Okay. Yeah, so like when it, when they did the 512 by 512, it was just 512 blocks in every direction. It was just one region map. That's how big a region map is. But you know what would be like just cool to see What's too that? as well? You're walking around or you're caving and you stumble across an old campsite. There's a fire pit set up. Yes. It can be lit or it can be not lit. There's like a bed. It'd be cool if they could add like sleeping bags or something like that so there's a sleeping bag set up on the ground that, that is something i think and, we've been asking for for a long time is sleeping bags like temporary right? beds that don't take your spawn away 100 <laughs> percent. and then like yeah, one single chest set up with a tiny bit of food or a diary or something set up from the person who can't camp there or whatever just like something that adds more lore and exploration to your world something that'd be cool to stumble across right exactly right? That, that i think that's what would make it more enjoyable to to explore these maps. Oh, that's what I was getting at was when, when I switched from Xbox 360 to the first time I played on PC on the computer, I was so astounded by the sheer scale of the maps that I was like, I'm like, how, how can you even, you know, explore this? These maps, (laughs) I mean, now the maps are a lot more broken up. Like all the, the biomes, there's so many different biomes. You run across one in like, you know, a hundred blocks and you'll be in another biome. Right. Where, right. Before, uh, when I first jumped on, the desert would go on for, you know, a thousand <laughs> blocks. Because there was three or four biomes. <laughs> exactly. So you'd be like in the desert forever. And then all of a sudden you run across this structure in the middle of the desert. And you're like, whoa, what is that? Oh, it's a stupid well. <laughs> what do I do with this thing? <laughs> Not a damn thing. Uh, That's what. Oh, man. But yeah, it'd be really cool to find these unique things. Or different. if it was a well, there'd be a purpose to it. Like if there's right. no water for a thousand blocks and all of a sudden now you have water, but there's water right next to where the freaking well is generating. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing, nothing fan- fantastical. Right. And that's what, that's um, what I think what you're getting at is it takes a, there's no real story. There's no real lore. We don't have anything to, to really be excited about anymore to, to run around for. Unless like, yeah, when, the, when they add new loot to the game, that's great. Right. Like, oh yeah, I'm going to oh, go yeah. explore the world oh, and find this new loot. For sure. Once you found the loot, that's literally the the entire update done. They only add five things that are worth looking around your world for. You spend an hour doing it, and that entire year's worth of updates is done in is five done minutes. In like five minutes. Yeah, I think the only one that took actually two. I'll say two of them that took me longer to explore. Um, when they did, I think it was one point twelve when they did the uh, the what do you call it? The end update when they added the, the one, end. Yeah. End cities. The end cities. Yeah. So you'd actually explore and 
every end city like wouldn't guarantee you certain kind of loot so exactly. you actually wanted to go and explore exactly so you, you there was so a many. reason for you to go out and about you know what i mean yeah so that was and. pretty cool in my opinion and then they did the the nether update when they added the bastions those were because it's treacherous you know if you're in right. full survival mode uh, you chance losing everything you have. So I, I'm I'm a I'm a real big uh, a wuss when it comes to the Nether. I don't like the Nether, <laughs> so I will try to steer clear of the Nether. But because they added that feature, I was super stoked and made me really want to, to get in there and find that loot. Now they made it challenging to get because you have to the to, to fight like actual freaking piglins and stuff. But it was it was fun. It made it more exciting to go to the Nether and. That is not something I, I would normally say because it's never fun right. to go to the nether. And it was definitely cool exploring the nether the first time. And I mean, it still is kind of cool. It's way better than what the nether used to be, 100%. Oh, yeah. Like, just the same red block over and over again as far as you can see in lava. Oh, yeah. So it's it's really cool. It's still fun to kind of explore. But nobody goes to the nether to explore. They go to the nether to get their... I don't know, loot they need to get to the end, essentially, because there's something to explore around the end. I mean, there's bastions in the nether, great. But why couldn't they have added, like, nether villages with a nether-themed villager or something like that? Uh, No, you're not wrong, though, because uh, you added, again, going back to your server, you added the the better, I think it was called Better Nether, Better better End and Better Nether? Um, Incendium. Incendium, that's it. I forget who made it. I'll link them down in the description as well, but... Oh That's, my god! It was so freaking. I mean, that one is a bit on the uh, extensive side because there are villagers everywhere. <laughs> you yes. know, you weren't really hunting for them; you would just find them anywhere you spawned in. Um, but that same idea on a much more toned down scale, kind of like villages now. Like, right? You got to go eight hundred blocks in any direction. You'll, yes, you'll 100%. eventually find a village, right? That if they they did the same thing, I, I understand why they did it in that that update or in that uh, mod because the Nether is you know every is it every sixteen blocks is one block in the overworld, so they kind of just get more crammed together. I also right. really liked it more because when you host a server, everything gets found so much faster. So when there's more things to find, yeah, it keeps the server busier. It keeps oh people yeah, happy. you're right because if it was if there was only like you know five Nether villages in all of the Nether. Uh, they would get looted really quickly and you wouldn't have any more reason to go back into the nether. Exactly. So, I mean, if it was toned down quite a bit, it'd be perfect for a single player world. For a single player world. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's what Mojang seems to be targeting anyways, is just how the single player experience can get better. You you know, you're right. And I, I think that that the, the the single player experience as it is right now is, I'm not going to say is not fun. It is fun, but it's just so so much of a letdown every time they do an update that it just becomes like why 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 are you doing why even bother with this update why not make this a a 17.2 instead of releasing 18 when there's nothing you're really releasing i know was it 17 to 18 was the mountains and caves caves and cliffs caves and cliffs was 18 yeah 18 then then 19 and then was it 19 and a half and then they did 20 again which was basically a continuation of the same thing right what was 20? I, I, this is 20, but what was it? The sniffer. Oh, it was. Yeah, this like, vote. It was such the most boring one ever. They added this one was more dumb. skins. They, they added some bookcases, some bamboo blocks. Yeah, they added two new biomes, Um, which cool, I guess, you know. They, What's they, the second biome? I just know the cherry the grove. Cherry grove and the. uh Oh, those were from the previous one, huh? The mangroves, mangroves was from was 19. Pre- yeah, mangrove was 19. I forgot about that. I mean, they were supposed to do birch in this update, but they didn't. They just was like, yeah, no, we're not doing birch. Sorry, guys. We had an entire year to develop this update, but. It's literally just reskinning wood. (laughs) (laughs) Well, they were going to add like, it's, I don't know. I don't know what they were going to do to the birch forest. Well, birch would be, that's the kind of tree that's wrapped in a little bit of white, right? Where the the, the wood turns white. That would be cool. Because we do need a white wood. Well, we already have that. We do? There's already birch forest, but they were going to update the birch forest. Oh, okay. Were they going to make it look more? They were going to. I don't know if there's going to be more realistic. There's going to be like fallen trees, campfires that spawn in the birch forest. Oh, kind of like and... they did in the Tiega. Yeah, kind of. You know how they just kind of like made it more realistic than they didn't like add anything new to it. They just updated right. the villages. Oh, and that's right. The... That's when foxes came and stuff like that, right? Yes, exactly. Yes. I think that was 115, that was a... maybe? Yeah, but I think was. Yeah, I think it was 115. Well, no, wait, 115 or 116 was bees. I thought the Taiga 
Okay, 115 was Bees. Whichever one Pillager, the Village and Pillage update 14. came. 14. 14? Because I think yeah. that's when Tag I got updated Okay, as well. so it was just included with the Villager and Pillager update. Yeah, and exactly what they to, said they were going to do in this update was include a Birch first Forest update. And for didn't. whatever reason, they couldn't update the Birch Forest. Like, seriously, it's I, not like they're doing anything special. They weren't adding anything. They were just making it. They were just more. dolling it up. They're making it. Pretty. Yes, 100%. I, I don't understand why they couldn't follow That's through with that. But. So bizarre. Yeah, I don't, it's, um, it's just frustrating to watch this go so slow when you watch right? these modders go so fast and well, bang parents, stuff out. It, 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 it used to be one big update every summer. One big update. And then it was a small update for the holiday. It was called this holiday update. Right. Okay. Okay. This time they had a hol- an update that was about the size of a holiday update. For the main update. For the entire year. For the whole year. Like, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like and, then this, and then this next they announced update. It, well, they announced it in Minecraft Live last year. And it just got released like a month ago, didn't it? Yeah. 1.20? 1.20 it was a month or maybe two months ago but still it wasn't it wasn't that long ago so it was essentially a year and they already had footage from 1.20 like of their updates that they showed at minecraft live which means they already added some of this up to the game you, yeah you're right <laughs> i don't it, know it's freaking nuts i don't know it's just it, to me it just i just feel like we're getting cheated <laughs> yeah i mean it's they're free updates like you can't complain about free updates i get it and we're gonna have people tell okay. us that in the comments. Charge and all me, that. charge me, freaking forty dollars for Minecraft two point but make it worth right. it. Right, a hundred percent. I but would make 100% it worth it. I'd pay for it. Minecraft two point I'd pay for any. Heck, I would pay for DLC if they added a whole bunch of. If they really made cool it stuff worth the buying the DLC, absolutely, I would too. Like, uh, I know a lot of people can't afford that, uh, but at the same time, if you make it where it's this full blown, you know, worthwhile thing just like you do in the the minecraft marketplace where it's things that people deem worth it right if you do the same thing with oh i'm gonna get buried here (laughs) uh (laughs) people deem that it's worth it then why not i would do it now i mean okay dlc a lot of people 100 percent disagree with and that's fine but i don't know why they're not making the updates big because they want to keep people interested long term they're trying to keep everyone a reason to come back to the game they do very small updates where, oh, after a little bit of a while playing this, people are like, oh, I'm bored of this. Let's go away from Minecraft for a while. And then, oh, all of a sudden there's a new update. Hey, everyone, let's go back to Minecraft and check it out. I mean, I, I get why they're doing it, I, but I get I'd rather not get degree. bored of it. That, there's the key right there. I'd rather <laughs> not get bored of it. Give me enough to do, and I'm going to get bored a lot less quickly. Yes. <laughs> I guess that's the, the big take of it all is we get bored so fast because there's not much to explore. There's not much to do, and that's the unfortunate part of all of it, really. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I found and a then, key. So back to the conversation about the mob vote. Yes, so the mob vote. This year. This year, the the idea. Okay, so the mob vote this year is, uh, hold on a second, let me pull it up for, for my, it's like my own. like crab, brand. There it is. penguin. Yeah, found it. Yeah, crab, penguin, and armadillo. <laughs> armadillo. And they all have their own unique things that they add to the game, which is kind of cool, but I want them all. Is that greedy? Is that greedy for me to say, please give me the thing you already designed, you right. already built? I know you built it because you didn't just come up with it and say, we didn't build it. They have all three of these and you know it. Yeah, I mean, they also have all the abilities that they add because they don't know if it was going to work in the game to begin with. Right. The armadillo I mean, gives you something cool. It gives you freaking wolf armor. Armor for your wolf. Yeah, but uh, maybe I maybe I play different than everyone else, but I have a wolf that I use maybe once in a survival Let's Play or survival series. And oh, then I, it just sits there. I only uh, get a wolf so I have a dog at home. Yeah. That's, that's it. it. That's the only reason. Just so I have a dog at home, I have a cat at home, and I got my pets. Yeah. There's I mean, no I try to make like a connection with my in-game pets, and then if they die, well, then I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a – for my very first uh, Minecraft world that I uh, I aired on, on YouTube, um, I have – my very first dog died. So I have a oh. – there's a grave site on that freaking <laughs> map to this very day. Of where uh, uh, where he passed where he where he I mean I guess killed. that's good if you want to have your dog survive but again that's useful for one dog useful and... for a dog yeah exactly I don't know I I don't use wolves as a pack I guess I should right. maybe I should because I know they do a lot of damage but then you're gonna chance them getting killed right and maybe that's kind of the incentive like oh people will be able to start using their wolves more kind of like they did with axolotls in 
Oh, right, right, um, right. For the... Uh, ocean monument. Ocean monument. Right. To get rid of the... Um, what are those stupid things called? I can't stand them, but yeah, those. The guardians. The guardians. I Because yeah, they'll attack them, right? They so will, yeah. They kind of made it like you don't want your Axolotl to die, but if you make a pack of them, they can really help you out. So Right. Same so, sort of thing with wolves. You can make a... A pack of wolves. Pack of wolves that are all armored up, so you're more likely to, you know, keep your wolves alive. I get it, but I suppose, I man. I don't know. I I would. I probably still would. I'd probably put armor on one dog, and that would be it. Yeah, it would be more so just clothes for the dog that stays at home. That would be more. <laughs> yeah, like I look. I got my dog a sweater. <laughs> Which, to be fair, if we can do armor trims on the dog armor as well, and data pack makers can make it so that you can add custom armor now with the trims essentially so if you can add like custom dog clothes i, I could get on board oh that. yeah like, do like dog sweaters some, some and stuff love like that. merchandise dog oh, sweater or something like that, that okay that would be okay, pretty cute that's not too bad of an idea dude <laughs> but okay that's the armadillo okay the, the crab the crab what does it drop it drops crab claws crab which claws. you can use to have longer reach so i'm how is that gonna work i'm picturing it to be an enchantment on a chest plate or something like that. Yes. That's kind of what right. it is, right? Where you have, you can, instead of grabbing, what is it, like three blocks away, you can grab like four blocks away? I think you can do like one, two, three, four, like four blocks away now. So it'll probably be five blocks or six blocks maybe. Okay. Which would be cool. super useful if you spend a lot of time building. But I mean, if you don't and you're playing just survival Minecraft just for the fun of it, kind of like what we're doing here. Yeah. I can just walk two blocks closer. <laughs> I can just creep closer. I'll be there. Yeah, I guess it would be useful for... It, it'd be more useful for uh, creative, really. Yeah, creative or like... I guess if you're building a tall structure, you don't have to like scaffold as much. It, it's useful for building. I, it is good. Okay. I'm, okay. I'm agreeing with you to a certain degree. <laughs> oh, shoot. But then the penguins. Like, I, I want to see penguins in the world. Oh, yeah. I do want to see penguins. What, Those would be the... so freaking cute. What do the penguins but you'll do? Only, the, you'll only ever see them in snowy biomes, and nobody likes to be in snowy biomes in Minecraft. But maybe it'll give you a reason to go. Yeah, I don't like going to the snowy biomes. I it, I actually physically feel cold when I'm in the snowy <laughs> biome. <laughs> okay, I don't feel cold. No, I do. Just, just like in the rain, I feel cold. so boring to look at. Like, it that's is what I've... boring. It feels like vanilla Minecraft, like 1.1, 1. 1, where all you have is <laughs> green world, right? Everywhere you look was just green. Like at least uh, now in the newer and biomes, like you have different stuff to see. Yeah. The snow biome is just white. It's it's white, and then there's sometimes ice spikes. Yeah, the ice spikes were cool when they first came out, and then they yeah. weren't because they're not. <laughs> and really cool. like building in snowy biomes, you get snow layers all over the place. You have to clean up snow layers when you're building. It's yeah, no. and then like to ooh, walk on ice, ice, ice walking ice on ice freezes, sucks, or if you put man. torches down, it melts, and then you can't freaking build because your ice blocks are. I don't, know. I don't like the snow biomes. <laughs> I do not, and the only reason I'll go to them if the penguin gets added is to take a penguin back to my biome. <laughs> How do you lure them with fish? Maybe probably with fish. Yeah, that but, would be cool. But so you, I you know what's gonna win? Dr- the crab is gonna probably win because we all hate the crab. Hundred percent. Only because it adds the most useful addition to the game. Uh, sure. Because the penguin says the it, penguin. Just, I think it's like it boosts the speed of boosts your boat. Boats. That's it. So it's probably going to be like the dolphin that gives you a boost effect when you're swimming near it. But instead of you swimming near it, it's just your boat will go faster near it. Well, I imagine it's going to be something like, oh, if you put just penguin in the back of your boat with you, oh, you just paddle. go faster. Yeah. Oh. That'd be cool. So I imagine it's it'll be it's it's good for like boosting your boat. It'll be like a little motor on your boats. Okay, motor. But then your penguin has to stay in your boat all the time. You just leave a penguin in your boat all the time. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you have a what's, boat. What's that? That's my that's it. my penguin motor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that you say it, I kind of want it. <laughs> <laughs> what you got there? I got myself a penguin motor, all oh. penguin horsepower. This thing, okay, I, I want to see this now because the penguin would be really cute and I want to see some penguin motor boat power. <laughs> I want to see some penguin motor. How many horsepower? How many horsepower? None. No, one none. penguin power. One penguin power, baby. <laughs> I got that new Honda penguin power. <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. I love it. <laughs> okay, I want, um, I want penguins now. I want penguins right? it to win. It has to be penguins. penguins come on, people. Win. Yeah, but we're not on. voting for it, apparently. Uh, no, we're not. I'm gonna. I signed. Boy, I signed the petition. The vote. I you signed, signed the, it. Oh well, heck yeah. 
I was like, <laughs> I saw it. Uh, Ethan sent it to me. It was on on TikTok, and he sent it to me. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in. I'm signing this right now. <laughs> so I guess now, since because I haven't made my decision yet, so why do you want to explain your decision? Like, why do you want to sign it? Why do you want to boycott it? Sure. So I want to boycott the uh, the vote because I am tired of Mojang copping out. I think that's what they're doing. I think they're like, this is what we said we're going to do, but we're uh, but we're not going to do what we said we're going to do. We lied. We're going <laughs> to give you one mob because reasons. <laughs> we we're, we said we'd give you all the mobs, and we've made all the mobs, but we're not going to give you all the mobs. You understand, right? Because we don't want to give you all the mobs. And we're never right. going to give you all the mobs. All the mobs that you vote on, the one that wins... You will never see the rest of them again in the day in your life in a vanilla <laughs> game of Minecraft. They are in the trash bin. We may resurrect them in version 1.3.0, but that's about <laughs> it. So uh, that's my yeah. reasoning is I'm, I'm fed up with them BSing us for something that they claim they were going to do a long time ago, and they never followed through. They just basically said all these other mobs that are really freaking cool are going to the bin. Didn't they say something about some biome a while ago that they were going to do? Yes. And it's kind of was... been like the meme of Minecraft Live for a while. Yeah, that was the when they were going to do the um, the Caves and Cliffs update. They did say they were going to redo a... Before that, right before they launched the Caves and Cliffs update, they were going to update... Was it the desert? I think it was the desert, wasn't I th- it? I think it was the desert. And they or just did the said... the desert lose? And the desert... Lo- I, don't, I don't know. All I know is we didn't get what, what they said they were going to do. That's why it's a damn meme. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, remember Fireflies? They announced that as part of the, um, was it the swamp, the mangroves? Yeah, that was supposed to be in there. And you know how many freaking, uh, you know how many mods have Fireflies in them? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, a lot. It's and freaking ridiculous. You know, I kind of, maybe for 1.19... I could see that having issues with lag because you know just more entities and there's probably but what if they a didn't make it system. what if they didn't make it an entity and made it atmospheric right like a particle or something 100% correct they could have done because that. they do that but, in in games like Fortnite um, the the fireflies except for the ones that you can catch the rest of them are atmospheric like butterflies and stuff flying around they're not they're just particles right but even if they weren't or if they weren't just particles and they were entities. Yeah. They've updated the entire rendering system of the game. So I feel like 1.20 would have like no issues doing it. And they didn't have to be tiny little two particle or two particle, two pixel wide fireflies like they originally planning. They could be similar to bees, right? They could be a larger, like a baby bee, a larger entity like that. That's just flying around. Yeah, for sure. Oh, you make it like a giant version of it. Yeah. I mean, I've seen some mods that add in fireflies that are, I don't know, a quarter of a block big. Okay. I mean, it's not, like, unheard of. I, I don't see why not. I know. And, no, they just, instead of giving everybody what they said they were going to add, they're like, okay, let's uh, let's not add it. And, <laughs> let's just not add it. And I guess that's why they changed their way of thinking for 1.20. I mean, they already added everything before the 1.20 announcement last year. Yeah. And then they showed everyone what they're adding. And then they were like, okay, but we will add more. We're just not going to tell you because, essentially... We don't want to make any empty promises. <laughs> right, which they continue continuously do. Yeah, and they didn't technically because 1.20 was exactly what they said it was, plus a couple extra things because they didn't commit to anything else. Oh, I guess you're right. But it was the smallest update I think I've ever seen come out to Minecraft. Like, I mean, 1.20? I'm pretty sure. No, they're, they're yeah. small. The, the bees update was really tiny. There wasn't really a oh. whole lot to the bees, bees update either. But that was no one. Guess... A- but no one asked for bees. I don't know why the hell we right. even got bees. It was just a bonus update for the year. It was it, like, was, it was a bonus update. We got You're two right. updates that year, right? We did. We did. You're right. So this year we got one update, and it was this. It was one one new biome that came with the t- traditional new tree and all the wood that comes with new trees, and bamboo blocks, a camel, and a sniffer, and then the ruins. What are they called? The runes? Yeah. I, I keep calling them. Oh, what, the, what? I did give them a name. What are they called? The The... um. The trims, and I, trims, I, I think right? I think we keep calling them runes because they look like runes. Well, I mean, like the ruin, like the buildings. The oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On end. So they added those in. I guess they also added something that you can sand the ground with to find. Yeah, a brush. Sand. A brush. Yeah. So 
there was stuff added to the game. Yeah, they stuff added a brush. I mean, I did an I did an update use. and it was an update review on it and it was very uh very lackluster for the right. lack of a better word. It was it was pretty damn lackluster. I mean, to be it, fair, starting a fresh world like this, I haven't even gone around and tried using that stuff yet. So, oh yeah, it's I something haven't that I can do later on as I get more settled, you know what I mean? Like you find a place to live and then you're going to start exploring. Yeah, you can start exploring or, hey, I feel like, what's that term called? Archaeology. Like, um, I don't know. I'm going to go and start finding some structures where I can actually go and find loot buried in the sand. Like, oh, it could right. be just an entire adventure on its own. Oh, just, just for on, hunting for settled. loot. Yeah. Yeah, I need waypoints for so, that. <laughs> I guess that's kind of cool. Yeah, no, it, it is. Because for me, it's not going to be early game for sure. And those trims are expensive. They're not cheap right. to make because you so, need... You need a lot of really expensive material in order to make the trim, you know? So playing in, like, a server side, that'd be really cool because you can show off, like, hey, look how much I've actually accomplished. But uh, single-player yeah. side, you're not really going to show anybody your trims. Like, maybe you kind of want to go around and that's your end game is to collect all the trims, in which case you've got a ton of playtime ahead of you. Like, You know, it's funny that you mention that because on your, on your server... Um, you have a lot of diehard players in the sense that they they almost speed run the game. You know what I mean? Right. There's nothing wrong with that because Ethan does the same thing. Whenever he like he's like, I want to play a new mod. Uh, let's do Sky Factory. Cool. In like a week, he's done. Like he's finished every <laughs> uh, every advancement that you can do um, in Sky Factory. I'm all that's cool, but I I'm a completionist, I guess. I like to like take my time and find as much of the material. I'm, I love the hunt, I guess. Like, because if you find me playing a game that's like, I don't know, like Fallout or something like that, I will search every chest. I will search every <laughs> body. I will search everything that I can in oh. order to get the most material. I'm just a hoarder. I'm a hoarder that way, right? You know, and I don't care that I'm a hoarder. I really don't care. <laughs> I really enjoy. That's my style of gameplay, and I can't rush the game. And then you have people that are on your server all jump in like a day later. And they'll have already beat the Ender Dragon. They'll have full, you know what I mean? They'll have full uh, um, netherite armor. <laughs> it's like freaking nuts. And no no, uh, no hate to that. I think that's really freaking cool because they put a lot of time and effort to do this. It's not like they, it happened overnight. I mean, right. maybe, maybe it did because they're so fast at playing the game. But they know what they're doing, and they know what their their uh, their goal is. They're like, I want to do this, and I want to do this in the next twenty four hours, and that's cool. But I I I really like taking my time. I'm I'm, I'm a slow <laughs> I'm a slow player for a reason. <laughs> so I mean, that's probably exactly who they were targeting with the uh, armor terms, because now in order to say that they've completed the game, or they I guess completing the game is different definition. Their completion of the game is rush to the end, defeat the Ender Dragon, call it a day. Right. Whereas completing the game could mean collecting all of one armor trim, could mean collecting the best armor trim, it could mean collecting all of them. If it's all of them, you're there for a long time. You are there for a long time. I mean, it's not, it's not, definitely not an easy feat. It's not something that mm -hmm. happens really fast because that you have to get a lot of netherite, right? Yeah. And uh, you have to duplicate the armor trim unless you're really hunting for every single piece and you're gathering. Now, that would be a challenge. The armor trim, if you did not put any armor trim on anything unless you found it, that would be a really tough challenge. Yeah, that'd be a huge challenge. You know? Because, I mean, other than, like, some of the ones that are on the, in the, the trails and stuff, everything else is in very exotic places. Right. So, maybe. Maybe. It might be maybe. cool. I don't know. <laughs> it might be cool. I don't know. I, I, I really I, I really wish it was more than it is. They did add cool features. They just didn't add enough features. That's that's my only complaint, I guess. Yeah, 100%. I need a um, bucket. I only have two iron. I need a bucket, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> so I am curious, guys, if you uh, let us know you, what mob, if you were voting or if you're if you're boycotting for one. Oh, yeah. I'd but like if to... you are boycotting, then let us know what mob you would have chosen for. Or if you are voting, then what mob you plan on choosing as well? Exactly. Yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna vote, cool. I mean, don't let us hold you back. I say boycott. So hashtag boycott the vote. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you choose to vote, I get it. I understand. Everybody's got their own thing. Um, 
but I think that I, I think we, we should we should all boycott this. Now Mamba. I think this is different this year as well too, and I'm going to give props to Mojang for this. What's that? I read, you read that they're announcing the mob vote, and you're going to have two two days to vote for the mobs. Okay, what does that mean? Well, typically they announce the mob here in live, and then everyone has five minutes to vote. Oh, I see what you're saying. They're going to give you two days from. From the time they announce it, they're going to give you 48 hours to physically vote. I'm assuming. I don't know if that voting started this week or if that's voting's going to start on Friday or I guess when this video comes out, it's Friday. So yeah. today, um, yeah, I don't know. I just know it's going to be two days to cast your vote, which typically it's one day and you get tubers or big influencers who are just like, hey, everyone vote for this mob because this I know. is what and I want. And that's it. And then it's game and over. Then, yes. So, so, so now I'm you're gonna have people... campaigns for for the mobs for the mob boat <laughs> itself. Have an entire campaign, like I don't know. I think this still you have the you have huge influencers who are going to be influencing the vote. Oh, and that's what happens to. every single time. And I really truly believe that if you are an influencer, you should not be influence the vote. I mean, you and I were our video views are getting to a hundred people at most sometimes. Yeah, exactly. So, I so mean, we're it, not influencing. We're the not vote influencing at all. a lot, not enough to put, to sway it. But when yes. you're talking about guys that have multi million subscribers and they have and who will do anything just to try to be like, yeah, maybe this person will like my tweet or like me if I vote for the same thing they voted for. Exactly. Then yeah, they're they're going to influence the vote entirely. Right, and I feel that that is. Uh... It's a it's a bit uh, skewed. Actually, it's a lot skewed because it's a lot skewed, and that's exactly why they should also stop doing the mob vote entirely. It's that's a, just... that's you know that's a, that reason alone is a great a great reason for it. I yeah, agree I mean, wholeheartedly. A hundred percent. Every single mob vote, somebody has influenced it. Like oh yeah, I mean it just, it just be- it's kind of it, like it's kind of like high school politics, right? It's always going to be the popular kid that wins. Here, yes. the po- the popular kid here is telling you to vote for this mob, and that's who's going to win. It's really whoever has the most subscribers who's going to vote which the mob is. I mean, if Mr. Beast, Beast decides to oh, tweet uh, out. Oh, if he said hey, vote for the penguin, the penguin wins immediately. Hands 100%. down. Hands down. I mean, how many freaking millions of people will vote for that penguin immediately? I mean, people who don't even play Minecraft would be like, hey, Mr. Beast said to do this. So exactly. Let's go hop onto this tweet and vote for it. Exactly. <laughs> uh, That's freaking nuts. But no, you're that's, you're not wrong. That's that's a huge problem with the freaking vote. It's it's skewed for uh, for them uh, that have have the pull, right? And it shouldn't be, but it is. And there's no way to get around that. There's just there isn't. I mean, there is only one way to get around that. It's to to, just to eliminate it. Yeah, eliminate it completely. I mean, go back to Minecraft. I don't know if this is ever going to happen, but I'd love to see Minecraft kind of be Minecon again, where they announce everything at a big event where there's oh, yeah. hundreds of people participating like a minecon Mon- Mon- live type of thing yeah and maybe i don't know maybe this isn't the right choice but if there's 500 people at this event or whatever maybe those 500 people vote it would be a lot right? less skewed i mean it would I- be a lot less skewed there would be no outside influence the problem is that you really need to make sure that it was a large enough sample size <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you might get very uh uh, Either way, I, no I one's going to be happy. No, that's or true. I mean, not, not, everybody not everyone's going to be happy. I mean, it never, no one's ever fully happy when it comes to vote stuff like this. But yeah, I feel like it could be easier. It could be a lot better because of the way it is now, it just for a lot of people, it's just not working. And I, I see why. I really do. Right. It's frustrating. And I, I kind of like that for what they kind of announced for 1.20. They said, hey, guys, this is what's 100% going to be in it. There probably will be more, but we're not going to tell you. That way you don't get your expectations up, right? If they did that with the mob vote as well, it's like, hey, guys, we're going to add this one mob. And then you're like, okay, cool. And then all of a sudden it releases and there's an extra mob added in. Oh, that would be so good. Right? Because, like that because, would get people excited. Oh, yeah. Because now you're you're uh, you're going above and beyond the expectation, right? Yes. And I mean, one year, maybe you can build the new expectation that your updates take a year. Fine. But... As long as you're not disappointing them in a way where it's like, hey, we were expecting this and you're not delivering. Or even just, hey, you had a mob vote, but my mob didn't win, so now I'm disappointed. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You're like, I feel like that's the best way to have, like, essentially nobody can be disappointed because they delivered on everything they told you they were going to add. You're not wrong. The more mobs, the better. I, that's why I love the, What's the one mob? Uh, is it Alex's mobs that has all the different animals in it? 
I think so. And then I, I, and it has all the sounds are, and everything. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's so cool having like the world just filled with all the different creatures. Yeah. I so there's uh one video of me where I, I'm in a I think in a um what's the acacia biome called? Savannah. Savannah. I'm in a savanna. I'm walking out of the house and right in front of my face is a tiger. <laughs> so I am. Uh, it just roars at me. I'm freaking terrified. I go running back inside the house because I think it's going to kill me. So I had to sneak around the backside of the house to get away from it. It had to be added a, a, a bit of adventure, of excitement to the right? game. Something you know what I mean? wouldn't happen typically. Right. Because, I mean, a tiger is not going to be... Most of the mobs are nighttime mobs. Like 90% of the mobs we have are nighttime mobs. So we don't have yeah. to worry about it. If you go to sleep, you're not going to meet them. You'll never see them. All the horror mobs, you, you don't get to see all those freaking violent mobs. But if you have, <laughs> you have everyday freaking... Uh, black bears and buffalo and freaking alligators and stuff that you can get attacked by at any given time. You got to be a lot more careful around the world, and uh, it just makes it a little more enjoyable. Like you're on a freaking adventure in a savanna, right? <laughs> you know, I mean, how many mobs? Like if I I could go to Curse Forge or Modernth right now, yeah, and find five mob mods probably, yeah, that add a total of 100 different entities to the game. Oh, it, hands down, you could easily do that. Right, five mods. Yeah, that's it, five individual creators who did texturing, modeling, coding, all by themselves. Exactly, and they're free ninety nine. They are zero dollars and zero cents. Yeah, and you can go and enjoy those right now. Um, now, why is it that that can't be in the vanilla base game? It's not like it adds to the lag. It doesn't add to the stress to the game because no, there's still because... only a certain number of entities that can be spawned in at a single time. Exactly. And then, I mean, how many, I mean, how many mod, mod packs have we played that have 200 plus mods and the game barely struggles? Right. You know what I mean? So if you get the right combination of mods that aren't affecting the game negatively, what's the problem? I, I don't see the, the, the hesitation. I just, I, I get it. People could just be like, well, then just play the mods. And it's not about just playing the mods. It's about what the actual base game could be and should be, essentially. Well, because there are plenty of people out there that refuse to get mods. They're, they're, they're just like, you know, I have, my, my mom won't let me get mods because, you know, they might have viruses and stuff. Because they're very skeptical. And when I have questions asked about my, like, mod installation videos, so many, there are so many skeptics out there that are worried they're going to end up with a virus. I have to reassure them that this this path, if you don't click on all the extra crap, you're not going to end up with a virus. Well, it doesn't help either when you download any mod off Curse Forge. Your Google Chrome pops up saying, "Hey, this could be harmful to your computer." Exactly. Why is it? <laughs> why are we not authorizing JAR as a viable downloadable type? But I mean, it's not even just the stress of not being allowed to download mods or being skeptical. It's about not knowing how to do it. I mean, if I look at a different game entirely, I look at Rocket League, right? Sure. You can play modded Rocket League. Lots of, of people you can. do it. Oh, of course. I mean, I have never done it. Yeah, I've I never played to. modded Ro Rocket League, but I know you can I play no like super mod. Like you can get really crazy modded on on Rocket League. Pretty much anything that you can get with a launcher, you can mod. Yes. <laughs> Any and game. I have no idea how I could play modded Rocket League. I've never. I've tried to look into it. It's just like. That seems like it's too ambiguous. It's too much work. It's too many steps. I just want to load up a game and play. Well, I mean, it. I mean, you look at Minecraft and the the mod process for Minecraft. It's not straightforward. Not like uh, what's one. I'm, what's one? One I'm thinking of uh, Fallout. <laughs> Fallout. You can like. I think you can install mods directly into the game. I think it has a mods menu. Okay. Right. And uh, you can't do that with Minecraft. Minecraft. You have to install a launcher to. Uh, or what do you call it? A, uh, a is it a reader to read the mods through through Minecraft to launch the mods? Okay, right? Yeah, is yeah, that, yeah. Is like, that what Forge is or or Fabric? Or it's whatever? a launcher. It's a launcher. It's its own launcher. Okay. Another big reason why I prefer vanilla is because I run a Minecraft server. At least I'm hoping to again. But typically, you will. You will do you it. You can't have yes. <laughs> I I need to have the world protection that Spigot offers. I need to have the plot protection. I need to have the abilities that you get through a server, paper, Spigot, whatever. Right, and those are... Then you can't do that 
with a modded server. No, you can't do that with file. Forge. You can't do that with with Fabric. I mean, I, Fabric has some aspects of it that you can, but not really. Yeah, but... you can get some mods that add in some of the features, but like it doesn't have the world guard. It doesn't have the no plot protections. You can get some mods that add in a certain kind of plot uh, protection, but that, uh, you can you can do that with Forge too. But they're not cu- customizable either, and they're kind of buggy compared to the vanilla version, right? Yeah. The vanilla version so, of stuff makes it a lot easier and it runs really smooth. So you don't have to worry about too much. Right. So I don't know. For, I, 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 I want a lot from Minecraft and it's a, it's a free game. They're free updates. We really, we don't deserve to be mad about how little the updates are. I, the thing is I would pay for the updates if that, they were worth it. I guess that's the thing though, Lucas, is that I've paid for so many versions of Minecraft that I would pay it all again if you gave me a, a real like version 2.0 update. Yeah, like a good update. Everything that they've promised, everything that they've shown us, everything like that in a new game, Minecraft 2.0. I I buy, buy it. it. I buy it. Hundred percent. I buy it. I wouldn't be mad I w- that they weren't releasing as a new update to the game. I'd be happy and be like, yeah, I want this freaking game. Exactly. Give it to me. Give me give me <laughs> what what uh what do you call it is doing? It's Hightail is doing right for for an upgrade for Minecraft 2.0. Tell me right. that you're doing all that same stuff that Hytale is doing, except you put it into this game that I already love, and I will buy it again. I'd probably buy it as a AAA title. Yeah. You know what I mean? 100%. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's, uh, that's just our two cents on the mob vote and everything Minecraft or Mojang uh, does. Exactly. So, uh, hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, I know I did. I really enjoyed talking about this. And, like I said before, it was a really nice break from a hectic day. So uh, thank you, Lucas, for joining. <laughs> yes, no problem. Thank you. Uh, until the next one. See ya. See ya.